Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This small, cute CNC router machine I, I got as a birthday gift a few weeks ago. I've been now trying it a few times and for this kind of cheap machine it's pretty good, I have to say. Model number is something like 3018 Pro and with this model number there's lots of different brands which will make the same, same thing. It came with the laser module, it came with the wood carving module, few things when I'm using laser module it's basically burning wood so there's coming smoke when I'm using this uh, wood carving module it could be sometimes quite loud I want to build a box hopefully it, this box will reduce a noise a little bit also it will protect about this laser laser of course dangerous at least for the eyes this machine came with some kind of uh, basic glasses protection glasses for the laser for this box I would like to have some kind of window, it will be a normal window, I'm anyway using these glasses if I'm watching, watching this laser. I have some kind of idea for the ventilation if I'm using this inside. As many times as I can I would like to take this box outside if I'm using this laser. If I have to use it inside I have a big fan and my idea is that I will put this fan behind this box, this fan blows through this box, hopefully the smoke away. Without further ado, let's build a box. Okay, I started with the base of this box and uh, this is going to be something like that. This is a uh, 46 by 40 centimeters and it should be enough. That's going to be the window and it's going to be something like this. Now it's time to screw these pieces together then I will start to find out how I will do this lid part. This is going to be here about like this. I came up with crazy easy solution for attaching this uh, window to this box. I will just use magnets and that should keep it steady and I can still easily take it away.
Next I will cut a few holes to this roof, just that this air is flowing better inside the box and out, outside the box. lower part is now done with the carpet. This line it's going to be line for the lid. This also does something for the sound of course. This tape is actually pretty good. It is pretty sticky and this is very thin and very light. It might be that this will stay. Time for my favorite finish, teak oil. Of course I could paint this plywood any color I want, but I just, I just love this, this teak oil. And that's only one layer. And by the way, I try to burn this carpet with the candle. It's really not burning, it will melt. So there's some kind of protection for that. And it's also anti-static. Teak oil is not the best finish for plywood. Maybe paint would be kind of better, but I don't care. I like how it looks and... Off the camera I built this basic wood box and here I can put this power supply and some cables if there's coming too much cables out of the box. I glued these wooden sticks and uh, I will glue this in place. Should I also put some teak oil to this one? Teak oil before gluing, that's not a good idea. This glue doesn't stick if there's oil. It's not a problem. I secured these uh, with uh, small screws that should hold it in place. Power supply is here, the switch is here, easy access and uh, here's coming all the cables from one hole, uh, power cable, USB cable and this light. When I'm using this uh, wood carving module it's sometimes getting quite loud. One big purpose of this box was that uh, it will reduce the sound which is coming out. I built just these two simple, these are also with uh, magnets and uh, two simple panels, uh, one in the front and another one in the back and that will hopefully reduce this noise a little bit more. I think this box is pretty much done. Only one final small piece.